again, this is a funny one. Garage is getting a bit chilly. It's, yeah, it's a bit cold in the winter. We've got the radiator on the wall. When I've got the big workshop door open there, um, it does let a lot of heat out. So I was wanting a heater for the garage, just for those moments when it's getting a bit cool. It gives us a bit of extra, bit extra warmth in here. Now also, to double up, um, if I'm doing some paint work, the infrared heaters help to dry the paint, or, you know, the body work, um, help it go off a bit quicker. So I was looking at these infrared heaters for the garage. They do a lot of industrial stuff. There's bits and bobs about, but anyway, the tubes seem to be exactly the same as what's in this little fella here. Got it off of Amazon for the absolute steal of 39 quid. And it's a patio heater. Um, Firefly make this one. I saw it for the money and I thought, it can't be, it, surely it's gotta be something different. But anyway, we'll soon see. We'll get it out of the packet, bang it together, and let's see how, how well it works, see if it's any good. I kinda like the idea of it being portable. The ones that I was looking at are something like this. They're on wheels and stuff like that. This hasn't got wheels. This is pretty, uh, it's on like a patio stand, like you get you put your brolly in. Uh, so let's just see what it's like. See if it's a piece of junk or is it gonna do the job that we need in the garage just for that little bit of extra heat. Let's see how we get on, let's get it open. Let's have a look, see what we get in here. Now, according to the box, Mr. Alan Titchmarsh has uh, recommended this. He's got his name on the, uh, he's got his name on it. He's got a picture of him on the front. So, uh, does that mean anything at all? Probably not. How's it coming out, box? That's the first question. It's a bit of a jigsaw, by the looks of things. Ah, well, there's the, there's the main. Uh, oh, let's come back to see what we do. What we got here? Then we've got one. They feel quite meaty. Three tubes, three tubes in there. So you got, yeah, you see that, three tubes. Nice back to it. It's supposed to be water resistant as well, so you can leave it outside. Well, so far so good. Um, some instructions on what to do with it. And the base obviously has got to be on this side. Uh, come just doing my knife. There it is. Like I say, for thirty-nine pound. Um, when you look at the price of the industrial ones, you know, two hundred and eighty quid. Obviously, you know, for the single heater, the single heated industrial looking unit was um, 139 pound, uh, sorry, 239 pound. See, that's that's not bad. It's got like a, a formed weighty base there. So obviously that's down there. Let's get that out of the way. I mean, look at that actually that's that's been it's got a bit of <laughs> that's a bit flimsy that is it's a bit but it's come back to the right shape I mean yeah it's not perfect but you know hey oh and all that let's have a look you've got to bear in mind like I say the price of this it's as cheap as chips so I'm not expecting the the world for it so we've got to say uh, what we've got here then first bit is Right, here we go. So it says the first bit goes in there 
and then you screw the base into it. So does this go in any particular way? Does it really matter? It just goes straight through the hole, straight in. Uh, it kind of locks in a little bit. Right, so let's get that there. And then if we get, if we get this to screw through the bottom. Just hold it all in place. That goes through there. And that goes. Oh, that was a good start, wasn't it? <laughs> that through we'll get that done up there okay that's the first bit yeah that's the first bit in okay and then obviously that's for the cable so you can attach that where you like uh, this has got four screws in here so for zoom it's saying the second part is gonna be That's the second bit then. Okay, so we undo the screws out of here, put that in, and then do it back up again. Oh, what a what a problem. How big are they? Are they small? Yeah. Two. Three. So, like I say, according to the instructions, you can take this outside. And leave it out in the rain not that i really want to but that's what it says it says it's waterproof so yeah it's going to double up as a patio heater if we ever have a bit of a barbecue outside we should be able to uh, carry it out and it keep you a bit warm outside they did do two they were selling two of these for 70 quid um, So it might be a, a viable option to have a couple of them if they're any good. I didn't want to go for two though in case it were a piece of junk. But I don't want to go for two. Get in there. Oh, this is playing hard to get there. There we go, there we go. Get them all started then I'll wind them up. Here we go, now we're talking. One. Two. Three. Four. And obviously, the next one is it? Uh, Quite now, it's going to attach to that. Yeah, I can't see, I can't quite see how it's going to fix to the. This is where you find out the instructions are pretty useless and not very well explained. Hmm, how does it go in there? Is it supposed to attach to that? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Oh, is there something in it? Uh, there? Nope. No, how the hell do we get that to go on there? Am I being a bit stupid or is there something missing? Come on, it's as simple as it looks. Just uh, have a good look at that pipe. You'll figure it out. <laughs> like I say, though, the instructions are no help at all. Oh, he's struggling. Oh, there should be a noggin that sticks out of there. <laughs> I can't see it anyway, unless there's something inside here. Oh, he's nearly there. Come on. The penny drops. So, this is going to slide right the way through and out the top. Oh, there you go, look. And then that screws on and locks down to lock it in place. Oh, blimey, eh? Hey? And then that goes in. That goes in there. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes in there then. Right. Okay, so that's what that's for. That sticks out of there. Let's do the next one. Oh, let's come a bit closer to you while we're doing this so you can see what we're up to. So 
Okay, let's whiz these screws out of here. One, two. Now the beauty of the infrared, it says it's infrared quartz um, light strips in it, is that infrared doesn't heat air, it just heats objects. So it should just heat things that are near it, and if there's nothing near it, it shouldn't heat up. You know, it shouldn't be, uh, well, <laughs> that's the theory of it anyway. It heats objects and not air. So we shall see, we shall see. We shall see. Two, two and a half kilowatts of, of heat uh, is what it's supposedly able to produce. Uh, we shall see. Let's get these in now. Oh, there we go. Get these screwed up nice and tight. One. I'm not going to go mad because they're only a small thread. I start winding them up, they're just going to strip straight out. They're not doing a great deal, really. They're just there to peg it all together, aren't they? Oh, right. Okay. Let's move up a bit. Let's move up. Let's get you. Let's get you pointing upwards a bit. Follow me up. Okay. Right. Here we go. This then. It's got like a little recess bit in the top. A little recess bit in the top there. And we just drop that onto that. Let's put that in there, let's lock that up a bit with that one there. Like a little telescopic thing, I feel like that. Let me see what we're doing there. So, and then at the back of that, it's got just a screw there, you wind that in and that locks this all together. So that's attached to that, that's attached to that. Okay, I don't quite know how we turn it on and off. So this here has got, it's got a screw thing up there as well to just, yeah, it's got like a little, oh, okay. So you can change the angle on that. This metal is a bit, um, it's a bit, yeah, it's the, it's the grill at the front that's very flimsy. Right, let's have a look and see what we get here. It's got, a, what do we get here? Oh, it's a pull cord. So it's a pull cord switch on and off. Oh, I get it now. I see. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So on the side here we get this. We get this little pull cord on. Off. <laughs> Okay, okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Ah. Right, then. let's have a look. Let's plug it in the wall and see what happens. The cable, this cable is nice. It's a nice cable. It's a nice heavy duty, uh, like a silicone based cable, it feels like. It feels really nice. Uh, right, plugs over here. Okay, oh I see, so three, oh right, here we go, here we go, let's show you that, you can see what's going on, let's plug it in, got a stupid bloody, okay, hang on, right, what's happening here, right, and we've got zero, <laughs> one, Yeah, something's happening, something's happening. Well, that ain't very good. One's crap. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, so it takes a bit of time. Look, you just see it's starting to glow. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming up. I can feel a bit of heat. Two, let's get it cooking. Let's go for the full one. So let's go for three. Ooh. Yeah, it's coming.
Well. That's 12 inches away. I could stay there all day. A metre away. Is it, is it doing a great deal? It's still getting hotter. It still feels like, like it's still building up to something a bit. Meter away, you're sort of standing a meter from it. You can you can feel the heat from that. That's quite nice. But yeah, you start stepping back two meters away. One sixty. One two meters. Two meters is here. I'm going to have to get the thermo heat gun on it just to prove a point. We'll do that. I'm going to get the thermo heat gun and let's do some tests. So there it is glowing away and having just walked outside and come back in again, I think it's deceivingly good. <laughs> and that's for a funny term because it's not got a fan. So there's no like fan heater blowing warm air out. It is literally the thermal radiation coming from it. And it, and it is kicking a bit, it is kicking a bit out. So anyway, let's have a look at this. Let's see what we get. If I go straight at it, 290 degrees is what it's saying is it in there. So me, myself, right, let's have a look. My t-shirt here, 20, 23 degrees, 23 degrees. Let's have a look, let's turn around and uh, Let's see what we're getting. Uh, 20, well, it's hard to see upside down. <laughs> it's nice YouTube gold. <laughs> what an absolute muppet look. What am I doing there? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I do make myself look stupid sometimes, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. And the battery's gone dead. Well, that's not a good start, is it? That's typical, battery's gone dead in my thermal meter, so let's just uh, just whip the battery out of that. We've got a new one out. Bingo, <laughs> we're on it now, we're on it now. Right then, let's have a look. So, <laughs> let's go back over here and radiate myself with this. Because, uh, yeah, it feels nice. It is definitely, it's definitely got a bit hotter. Now it's warmed up. Um, Straight in at the, uh, at the at the cells there, you know that's like gone off the scale of four, 500 degrees inside there, just on one of those. So, um, what do we say? So, yeah, if I'm in close, it's 30 plus degrees. Let's bring you over here, and if I put you round this side, I stand here and I fire this in at myself. There you go, look, you can actually see now as I'm stood there, 33, if I get a bit closer. Right, and so that's, I'm standing now half a metre away from it, and it's kicking me uh, 30, there you've got 37. And then if I take a step back, I'm now a metre away, 36. I come back a bit more. I'm now standing a metre and a half away and it's still showing 33. Stand back another, I'm, I'd say I'm now in the region of two metres away from it. Yeah, I'm definitely, because I'm almost back at the, at the unit now. Drop down to, what's that, 29. It ain't bad, it is kicking, it's, it's, it is producing, it's just producing power. Like I say, we're still, I'm, I've not moved, I've literally stood at the cupboard and it's, uh, yeah, for in here, I think it's okay. I think it is, I think it's all right. <laughs> oh my word. But outside, ooh, I don't know, would it, yeah, is it gonna do with the blowy wind and all that kind of stuff, is it gonna kick by? Right, here we go. So we're outside. Again, 
one meter, meter and a half, two meters away from it. I can feel it, I can feel the heat from it. But yeah, you can also feel the cold coming in around you. If I go for that simple test again, just shining it on me. Can you see that? Twenty, twenty-two, twenty-two degrees. Hmm. So it's it's definitely working. It's definitely you can definitely feel it. I'm in a t-shirt. Outside temperature here is four degrees. So it's pretty chilly today. What you get again? Five degrees. And uh, if I just stand in front of this, two meters away, shine it on my top. Twenty. Yeah, 22, 24, somewhere around there. So, yeah, it's, it's producing. It's doing what it says it is. It just take, take a bit of nip out of the air. I think if I was at the patio and I was outside with friends, you would need two of them. You definitely need two, one either end of the table or just to spread the heat about. One of them just ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gonna get cold. But you know what, like I say, for, for 30, 39 pounds, you could add two of them and uh, yeah, not be too worried. Pretty pleased with that. The other thing is how much cable do you get with it? So the plug's there. You're getting around about two and a half, yeah, two and a half meters of cable with it, which is, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. Because it is decent stuff, it's nice thick cable. Right, so let's have a conclusion. The Firefly heater, is it any good? Well, for the money, I've got to give it a thumbs up. 39 quid, it's producing, it's kicking out a bit of heat. It's gonna be okay in the garage for doing what I want it, just to give us a bit of warmth when we're working away from the radiator if the door's open, not bad at all. If it was outside and I'm sat on the patio with friends, trying to keep an area, like I say, it's chilly out there at the minute, four degrees, it's a cool night, I'd want two of them. I'd want one at, one at either end of the table, but you can buy the two, the deal, 80 quid. Um, what was it? The deal was, I think it was 75 or something like that, they give you five off of buying two of them. So um, yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, you know, like I say, for how much those industrial ones were, which were all producing the same kind of kilowatts, two and a half uh, kilowatt lamps, it's not gonna be bad, it's gonna do the job. We'll see how long it lasts, if it packs up soon or whether it's gonna, you know, keep going. But I shall drop you some comments in. If anything changes, I shall, I'll do another video. I'll put some links in the description to the, uh, to the heater unit itself. I've been using that heater now for a couple of days, three or four days in fact. Just trying it out, just seeing what it's like. Is it making a difference? Because I was a little bit skeptical, as trying to get a, a judgment of heat from something it's quite hard it, I, I didn't realize it would be but it is but it has been really noticeable it's it has made a big difference and I'm sat here now I've been doing a bit of filming this morning I've got my t-shirt on I'm in the garage and I can feel the heat from that heater and let me spin around because this is how far away it is I mean it's right up there I must be 10, 12 feet away from it now, and I can feel it's there, it's it's there, it's warming, it's really nice, it's really nice, it's really made a difference in the garage. So, yeah, it, that's the question, isn't it? It has made a difference, it has warmed things up. And it is a peculiar heat, because it's, it's not blowing, it's not like a, a blower heater, um, but it's there, it's radiating, I can just, it's just a nice warmth that's, yeah, it's lifted the garage, made it really nice, made it a bit roasty toasty in it. So, takes the chill off, keeps things warm, which is what I wanted. That's, you know, did I need to spend the 300 quid on a big blooming heater thing that's getting in the way? No, I think this is going to be okay. So, drop me some comments if you like what we've got here, if you like the way it went together. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Uh...